to Kitten Up Kitten. My name is Sam and today I am working on Polar Express which is by Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club. Um, I've got all of my drills in my Elizabeth Ward storage. So this is a 79 by 56 centimetre diamond painting in square. Um, I apologise. I apologise for dogs barking. I don't know if she sees something. So anyway, it is a Sunday. Um, I haven't had a chance to do a whip recently and I do still have videos that need to go up. So they will be going up at some point. But made a start on Polo Express, which was chosen by you guys. Um, oh my God, I am loving it. Um, so today I am also using white standard cook tray. Got a little bit of something on my canvas. Um, I am also using, um, let me move these down now. I've shown you what I'm working on. I am also using my pen rest. Um, I do make these in resin. Um, I think there are a couple on the um, Etsy shop still. Um, and I also have one of my rainbow cook pots. Um, these this is a trash drill cook pot. So basically it's just a little pot with a lid for you to put your trash drills in and it has a magnet on it so that you can um, keep it attached to your painting. Now with the cook pots I have been recently, I have been putting the magnet on the pot itself in the bottom of the pot and that way you don't then have it standing upright like this, it doesn't move. But I do think they are out of stock on the website on Etsy I am going to be uploading some more so bear with me I also have one of my alcohol ink cover minders in a frame um, nice hefty cover minder just to hold that plastic back so that's that done let's get that out of the way now I would normally um, go through what I'm using give you an update on what's going on in the household and then I would go through your comments and questions I'm not going to do that today because I have something else I need to talk about so I'm just going to give you an update on what is happening let me get my first color which is why um so I am nearly two rows in on this already so I thought I'd better do a uh, better do a whip on it before I get too much further so this is our 413 um, I am using in my pens so in this pen I am using something new um, which I'm testing out if this works if it works out well I will be offering a new product on my Etsy shop however I'm still working on it. I'm working on how I'm going to do it and how it's going to work. But I have done all of this with the same stuff. I have not changed it out. I have not turned it around. I've done nothing. It is still going. So I'm just testing at the moment. It is, of course, in my Amazon pen. And then in this pen, I actually have, this is my pen for ABs. Because this stuff doesn't work with ABs, it just clogs it up really quickly. Um, but I've been using the beeswax from Abby's Diamond Putty um, for my ABs. I absolutely love it. So I do keep my wax to hand. So that's what I'm using for my ABs. And there is a lot of AB in this, in this diamond painting. So um, that's coming useful. So first of all, let's get the basic stuff out of the way. <laughs> If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. I do hope that you will subscribe and want to come back. If you can give the video a like before you leave, that will help me get um, recommended to other diamond painting viewers and that will help my channel grow and it is very much appreciated. If you are not here for the first time welcome back you know the score you know how this goes um, so any information you may need about me is in the description box so there is my um, email address if you want to contact me there is my uh, link to my Etsy shop there is also a link 
to Calb's Sparkles Etsy shop which is the one stop place for all of your spare drill storage stationery. How well did I say that? Um, fabulous, fabulous stuff. She has just launched a pen roll to store diamond painting pens in, which is handmade, absolutely lovely. Cannot wait to get mine. Um, so that is on there still also. There is also a link to Diamond Art Club. I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate. If you use that link within seven days of your post going of my video going up to order if it's your first time you will get a discount if you it's not your first time it will just give me a small commission which is very gratefully received and of course goes straight back into the channel um i also have buy me a coffee which is just a way for you to help support the channel if you feel you should want to please note there is no obligation for you to do any of it okay all i need to grow my channel is the likes and subscribes that's it <laughs> that's all you need to do but those things are there should you want to get involved and anything that comes from buy me a coffee diamond art club whatever goes straight back into this into this channel as does anything that is bought from my etsy shop now i've got to be honest you know since i've changed jobs etsy is actually helping pay my bills it really is that important. So um, thank you to everybody who has done so already. Um, please, you know, favourite the shop, favourite the items that you're interested in. And then that way you should get a notification when stuff goes back into stock. Which is not always very often. It depends on how busy I am. Um, literally got about five videos I think still waiting to go up so um, I am trying to bank videos at the minute because I'll be going away at the end of August or the last two weeks of August so uh, I need to make sure I've got some videos for you guys so is that that because they're ticks any more wise before I put these away so um, just to give you an update, um, I have been, both tray machines have been um, working well. Um, we have had to do a reboot on one of the machines. My husband's currently working on that. I've also been testing out a couple of colours for limited editions. Um, they won't be coming out yet, but um, I do plan to do pop-up launches of limited edition colours so that's worth staying out the other big news is we are working on a bigger tray um, now at the moment my husband has managed to make the tray bigger my daughter now needs to work with it to make it work to make the lines on it work I'm just going to do these these little um, Eva eyes <laughs> anyone who's watched Wally knows what I'm talking about um where are they 317 if my head gets in the way I apologize it is not on purpose um so yes production has been going very well on those so I do have some stock and I will be updating the um shop stock on Etsy later today um Let's get that in. Now I've moved those drills out of the way. Um, so yeah, been working on that. Um, what else? I do have another load of cover minders. I've got a bloody mini spider walking across my desk now. It's a little one. I'm going to ignore him. You know, if it was a big one, I'd have moved already. Um, uh, so I have got some cover minders, some pen rests. I think I've got a couple of pen rests and a couple of cook pots. I'm going to keep making the diamond shaped ones um, for as long as possible. Um, once the resin mould has had its day, however, um, I don't know if I can get another one. So may have to look at another option 
for cook pots but I do once I've done some testing I may be releasing a new medium for for pens um, it is not putty just need to point that out um, we are not doing the putty route um, so that's about that um, orders are up to date um, any existing orders will now be going out on Monday which is tomorrow I hope you're all doing well we had a fantastic end to um, lust after dusk I did get my canvas finished so please look for videos on that um, which I'm quite pleased about, which means, apart from my comparison project, I don't have any more budget diamond painting currently to do. Which brings me to the next thing. So, number one, I appreciate every single subscriber no matter what okay um so i'm not saying this to offend anyone or you know to cause an issue or make a big drama out of it but this needs to be said because it it has made me feel quite bad to be honest so i'm gonna go through it there is a video that went up last week um basically i managed to get hold of a canvas called think of me um from mandy Mazzano diamond art club i got it on a i got it off ebay actually um so it is a image which mandy Mazzano created of um from the phantom of the opera which is something that me and my husband absolutely love so here's what happened what happened was i had a friend who ordered from a particular budget company and when she ordered she was given a free gift and when that free gift arrived lo and behold it was that same image by Mandy Manzano, but from the budget company. So at the time, she didn't even want to show it on the channel. So I said to her, do you know what? Let me have it because I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a comparison. So let's get this straight. OK, nobody paid any money for that image. I did not receive that image can't pick my drill up now i did not receive that image in a promo package um no money was paid for it so you know it is what it is so the reason behind doing the comparison was to show why buying that particular image from a budget diamond painting company was not a good idea and this is the way that I stand. I receive promo packages from budget companies, but what I do is I choose my images very carefully. I will not um, buy unlicensed artwork from a budget company, no matter what company it is. I also will not tell lies about images I get from budget companies. I am aware, as are many people, that you can get unlicensed artwork from these companies at a, at a lower quality. I'm not lying about that. Okay, what I didn't do in that video was I did not slate budget companies at all. I receive promo packages from those companies and I am more than happy to unbox them but I will not tell a lie so when I go to choose my stuff I reverse image search to make sure that it is not it is not unlicensed artwork now I prefer to call it unlicensed as opposed to stolen because the issue is a lot of the budget companies are based in China the rules in China are different to what they are in the UK however I do not want to buy into 
using those images for that reason. So on the video, I was it was mentioned that I shouldn't um, pull down budget companies when I receive promo packages from them. Number one. I disagree. If a budget company um, has unlicensed artwork, I do not order it. If one of the companies that sends me promo packages sent me unlicensed artwork, I would not promote it. I would not even show it. The comparison was to show why you shouldn't buy unlicensed artwork from budget companies i was not dissing the budget companies in the slightest okay everybody has a budget and there are so many people out there that rely on those companies to be able to diamond paint and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna diss that okay i too have brought diamond art diamond paintings from budget companies uh, my lust after dust canvas came from a budget company and the reason I got it it wasn't a licensed piece because it's it's from a show and I wouldn't be able to get that artwork that was licensed anyway so I'm not above doing it myself my point was if you see a piece that is licensed artwork, for example, in the video, it was Mandy Manzano's. If you buy a Mandy Manzano piece from a budget company, then you are A, in essence, stealing from that artist. And B, you are not going to get the quality that you would get from buying that artwork from a licensed seller. I did not at any time say that you shouldn't buy from diamond uh, from budget diamond painting companies and I actually do not like someone turning around to me and saying actually this is what you said and yes you did no I did not at no point in that video did I say buying from budget companies is a bad thing what I said was if you buy licensed artwork from a budget company you cannot then complain about the quality because the quality is not going to be there simple as that okay it actually really upset me because i try and bring content to all budgets which is why i have the promo packages from a from budget companies it's so that i can show a wide range of stuff it doesn't necessarily mean that i will work on those but i do it for that reason and to say that i shouldn't have an opinion because i accept free packages it doesn't matter where an item comes from whether it's free or not if it is free and it is an unlicensed image i am not going to show it if it is a licensed image and it's not any good, I will say the truth. I will tell the truth. So to say that I'm wrong and that I have slated a budget company when I actually haven't is quite, it's actually quite rude. You know, I pride myself on being honest and I am going to be honest. You know, as far as I am concerned, if you purposefully go to a budget company to buy unlicensed artwork, then you are stealing. End of. OK, that is my stance. That is my opinion. And I'm allowed to have my opinion on my channel. It is OK for you to disagree with that. But please you know, feel free to voice if you disagree with that. I do not have an issue with that, but don't then try and gaslight me because you have assumed that what I'm saying is that all budget companies are bad because I haven't said that at any point. I have never said that. Um, I kind of feel like I shouldn't even have to bring this up 
it, it should be said you know and it's as simple as this on youtube it is the same as on facebook or on any social media if you see something that you do not agree with absolutely you're allowed to have your own opinion but if you don't like it don't watch simple as that unsubscribe it's not a problem because all of my videos are in my opinion not anybody else's because it's my channel um but i'm not going to backtrack on that you know it, it is wrong now if i have an issue with a diamond art club canvas would i say absolutely just because i'm an affiliate forum doesn't mean that they always get things right sometimes you run out of drills sometimes you know all companies you're never going to find a perfect company but i would not consider buying um, an image that is licensed to a proper company from a budget company simple as that so hopefully this has put that matter to bed i don't want to discuss it any further i don't want to argue with anyone over it you know I have the right on my own channel to voice my own opinion and um, that video you know nobody paid for that unlicensed image nobody paid for that canvas and I wouldn't even do it I just thought it would be nice to do a comparison of a piece of art that you can buy both licensed from a reputable company like Diamond Art Club or unlicensed from a budget company. And I wanted to show why people spend what they do on Diamond Art Club because it is very clear that the image is so much better because Diamond Art Club hand render. So that is that. Okay, so at some point, I will I'm stuck in the tray. Um, at some point, I will come across that comment, that particular comment that started this off. Um, I will not be reading that comment out. I will not be commenting on that comment anymore. And I don't want to comment on it from now on. If you don't agree with me, that is fine. And I am more than happy for you to voice your opinion on my channel. Um, but please don't try and tell me I've said something I haven't, okay? Because I haven't said that all budget companies are crap. I have just said in that instance, with that image, it wasn't worth paying that money for. End of. Are we good? Are, are we done now? Is that it done? Because, you know... I don't want to keep coming back to it. I really don't. Um, it, it's something I don't want to waste any more airtime on. Um, yes, I will work on that lip image because I want to show the comparison. I want to show and share my experiences of doing that particular unlicensed artwork. Um, but I do not buy unlicensed artwork from budget companies. Um, I, I do a reverse image um, search and um, I am more than happy to receive promo packages from budget companies. I've said numerous times that New Craft Day, for instance, are one of my favourite. Does that mean they don't carry unlicensed artwork? No, of course not. I can get, you know, Randall Spangler, blah, 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 on new craft day i just choose not to buy it so all i'm saying is you do you if you are happy to pay money for an unlicensed piece of art that is not going to be the quality that you will get by buying it from the the proper company then so be it but don't moan about it do you know what i mean i cannot justify that i will not stand behind somebody who purposefully knowingly buys unlicensed artwork from budget companies and that is my stance and i'm not going to change on that so 
little mini rant over. Not even a rant. I'm not angry. I'm just, I'm just annoyed. I'm just annoyed that I have to justify how I feel about something. I shouldn't have to. Um, but let's put that to bed. Um, that said, that means that I do have a little bit of time to do some comments and questions. So let me just do these few teas and I will find your comments and questions because I'd much rather spend my whip time you know calling out people's names and making them feel good because that's why I do this it's to help you know it's to give you a, a friendly face to um to dot along with and hopefully you are hopefully you are, you are there and you are working on your whips I've got quite a few little colors here so I'm going to do them first before I move up to this end so let me just get my tablet and I will get some comments and questions and let's move on okay so I've got comments ready I've got my coffee I'm going to do as many as I can. So what I've done is I've gone back to three weeks ago. <laughs> That's how far behind. I've not had a chance to do as many whips recently as I would like. Um, it's just been busy. Just been a busy lady. So first of all, we have Sharon. She's commenting on one of the Lust After Dusk whips. And she just says... Sam, you should let us pick which one you kit up next. Um, if you can't decide, lol, have a lovely day. Well, thank you, Sharon. And as you know, um, we did actually pick my next canvas on the live last Tuesday. Um, I basically pulled out all of my, all of the uh, kits that people mentioned and we did a decision wheel. Um, so there will be a kitting up coming up very soon or within the next couple of weeks or so because I'm a bit behind on putting videos up um, but we will be kitting up um, Willy Wonka that's what was voted for so that's what we're going to do um, so I will be filming that soon it will be going up in the next couple of weeks um, so thank you Sharon um, Chris Naylor, thank you for another lovely video and answering all of my questions. Unfortunately, I was too late to get standard trays. You'd sold out. I will keep looking, though. And thank you so much for your offer of the red heart wax. That will be lovely. Thank you. I'll re reimburse your postage. Big hugs for Pepper and Stormy. Um, not a problem, Chris. I now know that you have managed to get... Um, the cook trays so i hope you love them as much as i do um as the red wax please email me or please give me permission to use your address um from etsy to send you some red wax we've got plenty i can send you loads and what i will do is when i when I get my Diamond Art Club kits, I will purposefully take out the red wax and save it for you. Because, you know, I don't use it. So might as well go to someone who is going to use it. So you are very welcome. And thank you for commenting. Um, Leandri, Leandri says, I'll post a pic of my hashtag lust after dusk progress tomorrow afternoon something is seriously wonky with tom's face but i'm still loving him <laughs> doesn't look that bad leandry obviously since then we have finished and um, it looks really good and i think considering you have created that chart yourself and that i think you should you should be very proud of that so um not a problem not a problem at all um Amy just says Poundland has some good dog toys. Um, it does. The issue we're having, um, we did buy them both a toy each. Um, however, what happened is they were both outside playing with their toys and then Pepper stole, um, Pepper stole Storm's toy. So Storm picked up her toy and then 
um, we notice Storm starting to creep up to try and steal her toy back. So to avoid any fights, we took them away again. So we're still working on sharing. We're still working on that. But we'll get there. We'll get around it eventually. She is settled in very well. She has now been here for a month. Um, and we're starting to get some real personal stuff from her now she's starting to show her care inside which is lovely amy also says also when i hear you say diy dp nov 23 um all i hear is diy dp nob 2023 well do you know what that's fitting because anyone who has been on this channel for any amount of time knows that we call the trays dick trays so why wouldn't it be nob but i'm not going to write DIY DP November 23 because it's too long of a hashtag. So unfortunately, nov it is. Uh, Vilika, thank you for the video, Sam. I was happily painting along with you. I'm off to bed now with a whiskey to watch a series. Love from the Netherlands, Vilika. Ah, oh, I'm glad you got your whiskey. I don't like whiskey. Can't drink whiskey. Um, I don't really drink much at all, um, although my husband did win a bottle of um, Amaretto um, a couple of weeks ago at the pub. Um, I'm I'm not unknown to have an Amaretto now and again, but I, I very rarely drink. It's not my thing. Fags and coffee, yes. Drinking, not so much. Right, so now we've got these little bits. I'm going to do this line symbol, which is 927 have to say after doing a couple of budget kits recently i am loving working on this i am loving my diamond art club um okay so craftyish Kristin, i am so excited to win i never win anything thank you for all you do and for being an inspiration for me to start my own youtube channel i just posted my first video today well as you know Kristin, i have already subscribed to you um so if you are watching and you are looking for somebody else to watch stateside please do look up crafty-ish Kristin um I love listening to her her whips I do I, I love listening to people when they're just telling me about their life because I'm nosy I like to know stuff um you're an absolute natural Kristin I wish you all of the best the very very best in your in your YouTube career um it's definitely worth it you know it, it it comes with its own perils but it is definitely worth it and it's it's done wonders for me it really has so best of luck to you um crafty jj newton commenting on kitten down mood goddess she just said enjoyed your video thank you for sharing you're welcome um and then i did a whip and finish it was a sun catcher from new craft day um just as a side note, if you do want to buy from New Craft Day, if you use the code KITTEN10, so it's a capital K, KITTEN10, it will give you 10% off your order. Um, it is not a affiliate code, so I don't earn anything from that. It just gives you 10% off. And I have to say, out of the budget companies, new craft day is my favorite um i've done four yeah four canvases from new craft day now and i've loved every single one of them so um yeah if i was going to promote any new craft day would be it so please do check them out um so lizzie says it is gorgeous i wish i could do them myself but my poor uh, poor eyesight and the light pad not working like on a normal canvas then it's impossible for me to do but it is beautiful yeah i get that and it's the first time i've done anything that's that you would class as um not a canvas um but it's very pretty didn't take me that long to do i don't use a light pad anyway um i actually did have two light pads i gave both of them to my mother because she does 
she you know mainly because she does some of the budget company and they're not quite as clear um but i don't um I just you know i just don't feel the need so i gave them to her but it was it was very enjoyable i'm not a big fan of crystals but um i did enjoy that one and it is very pretty um dotty diva also said um which is billy sun catcher's so pretty i wouldn't seal it hugs billy okay i haven't sealed it um i was just concerned about it you know being hung up with nothing on it and having that overlap on it but um it's been hung up ever since then and it's fine so probably not gonna bother i've never sealed anything in my life not a canvas not a, a off canvas item or anything so um why start when you don't need to <laughs> that's what i say um okay let's just get that one in i'll go to the next comment thank you for commenting billy uh tracy owen hi sam you do make me laugh you kitted up so you wouldn't spill any <laughs> story of my life tracy this is how clumsy i am do you know what i mean if i worked if i tried working out of them bags i would have spilled a lot more but um it was quite funny and i did have enough to finish the canvas it was all it was all fine it was all good um it is still kitted up by the way i haven't kitted it down because i don't know what to do with them now um might keep them for nails because um they'd work for that please do ex excuse my nails by the way they're awful um she also said it makes a change to see you do something different thank you for sharing well you're welcome um love to gina for putting up her um, emojis. Tammy Berkey will be beautiful hanging in the sun. It will once I actually get it into the cabin. Um, so for anyone who didn't know, I have now moved the nail table into the cabin. Um, I now have this desk in the snug, which is now my craft room, come office, come workshop. Don't actually have the printers running today. Um, decided to have a day off just thought I'd do a video because I, what I don't want to do is diamond paint all day today and get another row done of this and not having done a whip on it because um flying through thanks to the multi-placing and I'm not being funny you know two rows in still using the same medium in my pen so no there is no pop with my single placer um but it's picking up so it's all good um lisa the lovely lisa from lisa's coloring corner pretty sun catcher i do like to do a special mandala every now and then although i haven't in a long time spill drills me never I don't know of a single other diamond painter that spill drills lol. More like I don't know of a single diamond painter. Who hasn't? I agree with you, Lisa. It's just part of the process, isn't it? It's part of diamond painting. The, the, the most annoying one for me isn't even spilling drills. The annoying one is when I drop my pen in my tray and the drills go everywhere, especially if they end up on the canvas. That happens to me so, on the unsticky bit happens to me so often hate that but you know it is what it is never mind um villica it's gorgeous sam love from the netherlands villica not a problem and then um the next three comments are on a live that i did so i'm gonna read out the start of the comments i'll explain as i go along so for anyone who doesn't know myself and penny from cow sparkles usually go live on a tuesday evening at 8 p.m now we are looking to change that and the reason is is because on a wednesday i have three jobs and an early start so I'm at my first job by half past seven. Um, so being up until half nine um, the night before means that I, I feel quite tired. I like to be in bed early. So we will be changing that to a Monday. Um, don't know when, 
might do it next week not sure we'll see um but anyway we do go live 8 p.m bst as it stands now or gmt if it's winter time um so yeah did a live so we did a live um i was hosting so basically because we go live together whoever is hosting it has control over whether that video continues or not so let's say that i'm hosting if my phone packs up and cuts off, it will automatically cut pennies off as well. Um, <clears throat> so I'll read, I'll start reading this comment and I'll explain <laughs> as I go along. So um, Lisa, she said, oh, poor Sam. It was funny in the beginning when it started out with the smelly gas. So <clears throat> moved into the snug. And on the Tuesday, I did dinner and we had a chicken and vegetable pie. And uh, well, I have IBS, so sometimes I can eat a food 90 times and then the 91st time I have it, it gives me a bad tummy. So we started off doing the live and I had such bad wind, it was ridiculous ridiculous it was awful and it really really smelled bad so we were having a good laugh about my 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 wind problem um however it took a drastic turn so basically i started to have stomach cramps had to leave the live left penny running it and disappeared to go to the bathroom um what then happened was I came back and then I started to feel really unwell, like stomach cramps, felt like I was going to be sick, felt dizzy and I had to abandon the live, which I've never done. I was absolutely mortified. So anyway, Lisa says, I know exactly what she was going through as I get the same way. It's horrible, but thank you both for another great live. I have a, yet another appointment test next Tuesday, so I won't be able to attend again, but I'll make it one of these weeks. So, number one, it is awful. It is. Um, but it's just one of them things. And, you know, there's no point me staying on the live if I can't actually do anything or talk or show anything because that it, it's not very interesting. Um, so thank you to all of you that were in that live that understood when I had to stop. Um, I did go to bed um, straight away. Um, I woke up the next morning. I was absolutely fine. Needless to say, I have not bought that chicken pie since. End of. Um, <clears throat> as in regards to the appointments, don't apologise, Lisa. You know just as well as, as myself and Penny do, we are here whenever, okay? It's not the most important thing, is it, the live? It's not. It's just an opportunity for us to have a bit of a giggle. Um, but of course we miss you when you're not on there because you are such a big part of the lives. Everybody misses you when you're not on. Everybody. Um, so I am, as always, thinking of you, sending virtual hugs and uh, my thoughts and um, yeah, look forward to having you back on the live soon. Um, that's all there is to say, I think, on that. So let's go to the next comment. Gina gave me the emojis. Thank you, Gina. And Kathy Morris, so cute kitty. This is because... Um, Penny has got a new kitten called Malcolm. So he visited our live for a bit. Very, very cute. So I've got a new dog. Penny's got a new cat. And we're all happy. It's all good. Just make, trying to make sure I don't miss any of these. I am using a size 7 multiplacer. Um, which is the largest I've done on a square, on a round. I'm using a 9 or a 10 at the minute, which is fabulous. Um, so Amy on the Suncatcher 
just said I use clear varnish for off the canvas stuff. Chris Naylor, hi Sam, the sun catcher is pretty. I had a good lull when you spilt your drills and nearly said a swear word. Well corrected there, Sam. <laughs> well, do you know what I mean? <laughs> do try. I mean, sometimes they just come out, don't they? They just come out, but I haven't been reported yet. So, you know, that's the beauty of my videos. I don't edit stuff out. I don't. I just leave it in because that's what I'm really like. There's no point putting on airs and graces or anything, is there? You know, if I'm annoyed enough, it will come out. Just the way we go. Uh, she also says, love how you threw the green tray away. I dislike those and the pink pens as you know i do have a huge amount of pink pens at the minute because i have just done my first set of polymer clay pens so i've been using them but not a problem i'm actually watching and listening to you now because i've banged my thumb joint on my right hand i've taken a chunk of skin off and bruised it throbbing like mad this is where the violin plays in the background for sympathy lol thank you for another lovely video sending hugs chris oh you're welcome chris sending you hugs back um you all know um about the pain in my hands so the next comments are on day 23 of lust after dusk um so we've got quite a few so, a bunch of lovely emojis from Sarah Morris. Um, let me just get my next colour in because I'm very aware I'm sitting here and not actually getting my diamond painting done. Um, Crafty-ish Kristen, she said, thank you for the shout out. I'm also a member of the Hashimoto's Club. No one understands why I'm either super cold or dying of heat stroke. I think you're talking about command strips, just hung one up with them over my daughter's bed hoping it doesn't fall on her in the middle of the night um number one you are very welcome i am always happy to give shout outs to new youtubers small businesses that sort of thing or even regular new youtube you know um lisa's coloring corner has got thousands um always willing to give a shout out because that's what we're here for to support each other and do you know what? I need someone to watch as well. So it benefits me, so don't worry. Um, I didn't use command strips. What I actually used was nano tape. Um, so I have put my um, diamond painting called Soulmates um, up on my snug door with nano tape. You can get it from Amazon. Um, it's a very strong tape and you can actually peel it off quite easily now you do need to have a well prepared surface so it will stick to glass paint um wood metal i probably wouldn't put it on wallpaper it would probably pull it off um but it has stuck that diamond painting upon that door and it is still up there it has not moved and because in the cabin we can't really put screws and stuff in because they're, they're wooden walls. Um, I am probably going to use the nano tape for that as well because it's a good a good option. And if I want to take it down, I can just take it down and reuse it. So, um, yeah, I was talking about nano tape. Um, Amy, maybe do the cook pet like cook pot like the pens with the old kinds of pots. Can't do that, Amy, because um it's quite fiddly um the, the, the thing is when when you do things like this when you're doing etsy you want to give stuff that people are going to use i don't sell masses of the cook pots in the slot i've missed three right up there for god's sake might as well put them back out again um yeah, I don't sell masses of them. Now, at the minute, I have a couple of the round um, moulds and I can get more of those. It's the diamond shape. It's this shape mould that, that I've not been able to get hold of. Um, so I may still continue doing the round. I just won't have the diamond unless, I mean, I will. I'll be able to use it. for. I've got one mould. Um, so I'll be able to do one every week or so until that mould gives up the ghost. Um, 
but you know if I reach a point where I can't get the moulds at all I'll just stop doing them because you know the pens take long enough to make I don't get them done as often as I'd like to just gonna get this one here because I've missed one I've also got drills that I haven't laid down properly up there so I might as well get that one come on I just need one there we go I mean, my, my, my pen nib isn't particularly sticky, so it's not great for pulling out singles, but the static on the pen nib was. So we now need F, which is this one up here. She said, also, I can you let us know how the nano tape goes? Well, I just did, so that's that done. Also, I have rounds that drop off because glue is not good. May have to cut the good bits if it's to make nice small canvas of it, as it's the poppy one. So I think what you're saying is you might have to cut the image down because you're having issues with the drills coming off. I've never had that. I mean, the supernatural one, because I was rolling and unrolling it before I moved into here. Um, a couple of occasions I lost drills off that, but I'm not too fussy. It's not going to be going in the frame or anything. It is literally, I'm going to cut the edges off and do it as it is. I can always replace them. You know, just keep an eye on it. It'll be fine. It'll be good. Um, luckily, because I do have a lot of Diamond Art Club, I've never had that problem with the Diamond Art Club canvas. I've always found the glue to be very sticky, which is good. Uh, Vilica, dearest Sam, so sorry to hear about the pain in your hand. After my car accident, I regularly woke up crying with pain over my right hand. Now I'm treated by a special centre for hand care and they made me a brace, made to measure and my relief is so huge. Hope you'll be treated properly too without pain. Love from the Netherlands. Happily painting with your cook trays, Vilica. Oh, bless you. It is um, what I have been doing. When it's really bad, I've been wearing my um, oh, what would you call them? I've been using my gloves. They're basically they're like a, a bandage, a tight bandage, and it just stops the swelling quite so much. And I seem to find that it's the swelling that's causing the pain. So that has helped a lot. Um, I did have a brace for that hand. Um, but it's too inflexible for me to work. So um, the uh, elastic gloves are working quite well. They just don't look very nice. But, you know, let's face it, I'm walking around working in a pair of Crocs at the minute. So it can't get any worse, can it? To be fair, don't get me started on Crocs conversation we don't need to have. Tammy Berkey, she also commented, said looking good. Gina giving me her emojis. Um, Tracy Owen, hi Sam, great video. I was, I was very interested when you were talking about your trace. So thank you so much for sharing. Um, this was because somebody had asked if I was able to tighten up the grid lines in the tray, and I'd sort of explained if I tighten it up, anyone who does um, a canvas where the drills are not exactly, especially round drills, exactly. 2.8 centimeters they would have problems with the drills getting stuck all the time um, so that's why I've not changed the lines um, so obviously because square drills are 2.5 round 2.8 you need enough room for them to slide so that's what that was about I'm not going to go into it again it's not not very interesting but yeah that's what that conversation was about so um i've then got two comments on the etsy shop restock and i'm going to make these two the last two because i don't want this video to be too long and i do want it to go up today so let me just get this get these f's in plus it means i can do my ab's off camera I mean, I love colour blocking, but I'm not keen on colour blocking ABs. Not going to lie. 
Um, so, Tommy Berkey, she said, thank you for the video. This was on the Etsy shop restock. I ran right over and placed my order. I did not want to miss out on the cook pot again. Well, as you know, they're all gone again. So, I've got a couple more to put up. Um, she said, I had to have the peas and the new pen also. It will be exciting to try them all out. Um, absolutely. If you are... Um, trying the new pens i did say when i put them up on the restock they are not perfect they are the first ones that i've been able to make and put up um you know it's still a work in progress please do let me know how you get on whether you like whether you think they should be longer shorter fatter thinner whatever you know please do let me know because i'm interested in that feedback um, the main feedback I had was people saying they didn't understand why I was doing them so cheap. It's just because they're, they're practice ones. <laughs> they're not perfect yet. I need a bit of practice before we get to that point. Um, Julie Lloyd, Crochet Your Cow, she also says, can't wait to get a pen stand. will solve all my doggy hair problems in my putted tips, lol. Oh, you're welcome. Um, so I'm going to leave that there. Thank you to everybody who has joined me today. Um, I appreciate all of you. You know, please do comment below videos. You know, give me a like. It helps me get recommended to other people. Um, and subscribe if you haven't done already. Because um, as I've said before, at a thousand subscribers... I am going to run a one-off um, special event and I will be picking someone who will be able to choose a limited edition colour for me to do. So, um, yeah, it will be exciting. So, nearly there. Nearly there. A hundred so to go. And uh, I would be very happy at a thousand subscribers. I think it's a, a huge milestone for me. Um, I know it's not as many as some people have, but I'm, you know, slowly but surely, that's the way to go for me. Um, so thank you for joining me today. I hope that you are working on your whips and you're enjoying this lovely Sunday. It's a little bit brighter today than it has been. Had a lot of rain. And that was the worst example of colour blocking I've ever done in my life. Let me straighten that out. Um, so it is, guys, as always, over and out from this kitten up kitten.